So it looks like SIG has given us a couple war bonds for a weekend chain event. Let's go check them out. We do have the Carrick still, the 600i Explorer is still available, and the Vanguard Sentinel is new. Check this one out. Grab the war bond. Ah, I missed it. What was the savings on that one? Let's go back to it. So 275, 255. Okay, so that's good. It's 20 bucks. Uh, well, we know the rule here, right? Can't do the triage. I mean, you could, but you'd lose money because that's still a concept. So Corsair's next best course of action, that's five bucks. Yeah, it's a no brainer. Um, let's see what else is there. Inferno and Ion are the same price as the Corsair. So those would work just equally as well. Neither of them are concepts. Oh, and the 400i. Well, I guess that makes a better, better call, doesn't it? <laughs> 400i has been there for, uh, well, most of the month of February, actually. So you've had plenty of opportunities to pick one of those up. In fact, let's go see if it's still available. Yeah, 400i is still available. So that, that's an obvious one. Vanguard Sentinel Warbond. Drop down to the 400i. That's your choice. Add that to the cart. Then I guess the 400i is the next one, right? That would make a... I think we covered this at length Raylan's concept so don't pick it um, you can do either the 220s a Terrapin or the Defender I think the Defenders had quite a few more uh, war bond options so I would probably pick that one but um, Terrapin may make sense for you that, so that's 10 so you're going from 220 all the way to 275 dollars for 15 bucks that's not bad right if you grab both of those in your chain so there is one more we've got available to us in the Mantis at a war bond. It looks like it's $10 savings. Let's check this out. So we've got the Dur, which has never had, at least to my knowledge, has never had a war bond CCU. May not have even been offered as a war bond ship for a, a outright purchase. I don't think it has. Um, and then the Cutlass Red, which has been available a couple times, but not that often. I, I would probably go with the Cutty Red. Um, because I think I've already used, I have a, a one of those freebie for a, du, a DUR um, that was given out back in like 2016. It's a free cross chassis upgrade. I think it saves me like 10 bucks now, but I think I'm already using that in my MSR build. So I would have to go with this if I was going to get one of these. Again, it's uh, cost you 10, or I'm sorry, cost you five, saves 10. Not too bad. All right, let's double check and make sure there's no cheaper ships down here. Um, I've reversed the order here. We'll scroll down until we see the uh, Mantis, I suppose, unless there's something in between. Okay, we got the Hawk. $10 savings on the Hawk, $90 ship, or at this point it is. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we have for options. The Herald, Avenger Warlock, Reliant Sand, and then leave an extra money on the table. Spartan... Spartan Nomad aren't too bad. You'd leave, well, in the Cyclone, I suppose. You're leaving uh, five more on the table. But these three are decent options. Let's dig into those real quick. So our options here, I think the Herald has had one War Bond before. The Warlock has maybe had two. I don't recall that the Sin has ever had one. And they're going to redo the Sins. Um, so you could probably lose money because they're probably going to increase the price of the Sen, right? So if you had something that made sense for the Reliant Sen to be in this chain already in your uh, in your chain, that would make a viable choice. But otherwise, I would recommend against it because if they ever offer this at a war bond, um, it, it'll be a weird war bond price because it'll be after, most likely, most likely, not a guarantee here. It, it could be after they raise the price after a, uh, they go through it again and give it a gold pass at least that's kind of what i would expect to see right there's no guarantees but that's kind of what i would expect uh the warlock has been i think it's had two war bond ccus available before um it probably makes a good choice the herald's only ever had it once that i can recall um doesn't make it a bad choice it just means that warlocks had it more often um, technically this is not a military ship so there's also fewer options for it to uh, basically go on sale, right? We expect some of them to come around, right? Like the Heart Seeker uh, in February, but the rest is just kind of a hodgepodge of whatever kind of happens. Uh, these are completely unexpected. So 
um, I, I guess these are the these are the times when we might get these the odd options for something like a Herald or, or a Reliant Send to ever come up, um, just as often as the Hawk, I suppose, which has only had a couple before as well. Um, but again, like the big the big events is are the ones I think of. I .e. almost everything goes on sale, so at least you have a, a possibility. But then you also have um, Invictus, which is coming up pretty soon, actually. Uh, where military ships specifically go on sale and then the week after that you've got or maybe they skip a week anyway you've got alien week after that right after Invictus so you have alien ships there sometimes maybe an alien ship could go on sale uh, during Invictus and then in IAE you have a higher chance so if I was to pick between these three well I mean the warlock has the most optimal chances I suppose and that's evident because it's been on sale at least twice that I can recall uh, for a war bond. So I would go for the Warlock, I think. Um, unless I'm not using, I might be using all of my Warlocks. I'd have to look through my chains actually to see which one of these I'm gonna pick because I think I am gonna pick this one up. I think it'll fit in a couple of things that I'm building. Um, so again, I'll have to make that decision after I go look at my chains, but it's gonna be one of these. I don't think it's, I would pick the Sen. So let's, uh, Double check to make sure there's nothing between the Hawk and the $150 Mantis. That'd be cool if there was something in there. There's the Hawk going up in price pretty quick. Okay, so nope, nothing else there. So, thanks again for joining me in this weird, random end of February CCU sale event, guys. Um, as always, I'll try and keep you in the loop for all these sales so we can save some cash on these ships. Zytec out.